I would like to talk to you about Christian Music College of India. For the last 20 years, I was involved in that project. What is Christian Musicology? So let us let us first practice, and then we'll talk about it. So I'm going to sing something, and we sing with. Poku win, poku win, yau se pinde, padatil poku win snehatode. Poku win, poku win, yau se pinde, padatil poku win snehatode. Onda the body. Poku in poku in yau se pinde Poku in poku in yau se pinde Padatil poku in sneha tode Padatil poku in sneha tode Nitya pita vinde karya sanai Pathalamidhanyan palikindu Poguin 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 Thau sepinde Pathil Poguin Snehatore Todicharo Kheyum Kheetti Yadai Kheetti Chidunnu Vishudha Dresya How many of you know this song? Really? Wow. That means it is a regional song. Okay. Right. Now let us go to musicology. So, when you get a piece of, when you get a song, you have asked 100 questions. So let's start asking the questions. Poku in poku in yau se pinde. The word used is yau se. It's very significant. Yau se is, of course, Joseph. But it is the original Aramaic form yau se. Maricha. Al yau se palla. Do you see the distinction? Number of Alka and number of house safe in the village. But she house safe to the Isha or one of the land, we will call him Yause, the little Aramaic form. And he walked into the other caste system. I can a family in Lord Allah, house safe in you. Are they the house safe to chin in the wood? A respectful suffix to go to. But she approved our safe pachinan, yao safe pachinan, yao safe, but he's only for St. Joseph. So there's this subtle caste distinction in the use of this term. But in the song, it is clear that the songwriter, the author, is using yao safe. Poku in paru, poku in poku in yao safe in de, paratil poku in se. Nitya pita vinde karya sanai Patalami dhanyan palikyanu Look at the words. Do you see the allusion? Yes or no? Yes. What is the allusion? Nith, huh? Nith, the the key word is kariyasta. Kariyasta, steward. Nith, the pita vinde kariyasta nai patalami dhanyan palikyan. Who is the steward you know with that name? 
Tell me, please. Puro Yosef. Yosef of the Old Testament. Kai is the steward. Now let's go back to the first refrain. Poguin, Poguin, Yosef in the Padatil Poguin, Padatil. You don't go and stand straight and look into his face. No, you go to his feet. Because he's higher and lower. Why? They sold him. They put him in the cistern. And then finally said, oh, let us. And they sold him to the Egyptians. Now he's the big man. He's the steward. You have to go to his feet. Not stand like this. Okay, now, so we asked a few questions. Uh, we look at, looked at the allusions. Now the question is, who is the author of this song? I don't know. Yet to be uh, found out. Now, this, the, uh, the other question is, when was the song composed? What are the clues? Uh, is there any clue in the song about the period of composition? Yes, tell me. It is definitely pure Malayalam, isn't it? Manitrawala Malla. Tamil Chavayila. So, Patan Sanjari Garinu, Manitrawala Tamil Sanjari Garinu, Shuddhamaya Malayalam Anadu. But Sanskrit Vaka Vijanda Pita. So it is definitely recent, probably 18. So you have to keep on asking the questions. There is another clue in the song. Right. So it is definitely after Amatresia. So probably the Carmelite missionaries brought this devotion to Amatresia, and so it is after them. So this is the way you keep on asking questions and connect it with the whole entire repertoire and write a paper. So this is what I'm asking you today to the students. When uh, for liturgy, for history, for patrology, take a song. Even for church history, take a song from our repertoire, analyze it, study the text. One example. Uh, you haven't heard that. <laughs> Panis Panche Lingua the translation of the Kollan version. So it is from the 16th century. It's an interesting example where the people who translated the text added a phrase in this time of turmoil. He added a, a clause into the trans so they translation of Latin Chan because that was what they were going through at that time. So find out history in the song text even for patrology, church history related with our uh, song repertoire and create a paper you don't have to do it only for a liturgy so and if you are serious about choosing a topic and if you want to do it I will be happy to help you from far through the internet one of my students completed her, American student, completed her PhD. She came to Kerala to study religious music, so Maryland University assigned me as her uh, reader. But we haven't started really doing serious research on our own topics. Why? Why don't we take up those topics for our own our class assignments, even simple term papers, you can visit my website, Christian Musicological Society of India. You will get a lot of ideas. Choose something connected with what you are doing in your class and suggest a ten paper or masterpieces or annual paper or whatever. Recently, Oxford University Press asked me to uh, contribute a chapter to the forthcoming 
the Oxford Handbook of Music and World Christianities. They selected 33 authors from around the world, and I was lucky. I was asked to give a paper, of course, I want to write about Christian music in India. Thank you. Thank you. So, the story that I created was the survival story of Sarek Chans among the St. Thomas Christians in South India. And the sample that I took for analytical and historical study is Etatus Le Baslama, Asya Inali, Vamurai Kutu Sandikhusa, Salau Allah. This is the chant that we sing at the funeral of priests. And this is what I came to Father Kalai for help. Etatus Le Baslama. Fascinating drama. Unfortunately, our Malayalam translation, with all due respect to Avalanche, doesn't do any political processing, it doesn't do justice. So, what I did was Comparing the transmission of the text and the transmission of the melody. So what happened when the text was translated into Malayalam and what happened to the melody? What was the priority of uh, the translator? So the song has eight stanzas, the Syriac song has eight stanzas and it's a beautiful drama. I wish your literature teacher or someone um, I wish you'd take a ten paper on this particular song. Shavashari wrote a karako, Achenda. Achenda, Maricha Achenda, Janamur Parangi. O church, remain in Shanti. I am going. And thy dwellers in righteousness, pray for me. Salaam Allah. And then he bids farewell to. Um, my dear brothers and friends, celebrate my remembrance because I have departed from you and forever pray for me. I am going and I am not afraid. My Lord is calling me. He is placing the crown of glory on me and is gladdening me. The fourth stanza. The voice changes. The, the narrative voice changes. The people are telling the deceased priest, May the angel who came and took thee to Eden leave thee. We shall offer thee as an oblation to thy Lord, go in Shem. The word oblation, what would be the Syriac word for the oblation? Kurban. The moment I learned this text when, uh, when uh, Father Kalai sent me the translation was this test, I had goosebumps. I never heard the word Kurbana used in that context. The community, the people who are priests, in fact, we receive priesthood in baptism, they are telling the deceased priest, go in peace. We are going to offer you as a Kurbana. Malaga Detal Dabrag Lade Navlag U Kurbana Mark. What a drama. And then the priest, the deceased priest, continues the story. What a treasure of text and melody. I will be talking about this melody in particular tomorrow in a different context. So this is musicology. And there is so much available here for you to study. When I went to New York first time for my master's and I wanted to do my master thesis, I was thinking about so many things and finally I decided on studying the singing styles of Putin Bana because that's, how I, that's what I heard from my childhood, from my mother.
So finally, while studying that, I realized people are using Syriac modes to sing, to create chants. I will discuss this tomorrow again uh, in the morning session. And then that gave me the impetus to study the Syriac chants. And when I suggested the idea to my professor, fortunately, he was an, a specialist in Middle Eastern music. So when I said this is Aramaic, he connected with it. And he said, go ahead. <clears throat> and that's how the dissertation went forward. And I was really, really blessed with a guide who knew the tradition. <clears throat> so there is so much that we can do. And I hope you will choose topics of that nature. Um, I want to talk about a song. Barbariyam. Priyam. Yeah. Okay. Eh? Kambil Maram Nalapada. Because I want to talk about this Barbariyam. Because people think that this is of the Knanaya people. Somehow this agenda. <laughs> Agenda has come to the, come forward. So you talk about Mark and Oh, other Kanai Karadis. Barma, are you other Kanai Karadakalyan? Who told you? What is the evidence for that? <laughs> These songs were our common patrimony. Barma, of course, there's, it is interesting. People call me to sing this uh, song at the wedding. <laughs> but this song must have been part of our common patrimony before this Kanai uh, Silver Malabar. A decision was surfaced. Barmariyam, Barmariyam, Barala Dildas Mariyam. We are addressing Jesus as the son of Mary. That's why they probably do it at the end of the wedding because Mary for the first time told her son, go and do it, or whatever they ask you. I, I mean, I mean, they have no wine. And, and he, he said, what's your problem? I, I have no time. I'm not bothered about that. She is in there. Go, go and do whatever he tells. So she makes things happen. Probably that's why uh, they sing it at the end of the wedding. But we can sing it on a festive occasion. Uh, please study the text. It's interesting because Jesus is presented as Son of Mary. Please sing with me. Barmariyam, Barmariyam, Barala Dildas Mariyam. Bar means son, Allah is son of God. Bar Mariyam, Bar Mariyam, Bar Allah the eldest Mariyam. Son of Mary, Son of Mary, Mary brought forth the Son of God. Chandaruha Barmariyam Parekleta Barmariyam Barma Sing with me Yam Mary sends the spirit, the paraclete, and uh, then goes on beautiful lyrics. The whole uh, story, the narrative is compressed into simple combinations of words. 
So it's something to study. That is an interesting question. What about some Indian music? This is the issue that I am dealing with. What is India? This is the problem that I am dealing with. This is part of who we are. This is part of India. In other words, Christianity and India are complementary concepts. Everything that I did here is Indian. It has become Indian. Of course, I am using, I am distorting <laughs> in uh, you were mentioning, you were thinking about Indian classical music. But I consider all this as part of India. and soaking the air in music by uh, elevating our minds to the realm of music. So now I would like to thank Reverend Father Joseph J. Balakal uh, on behalf of Reverend Father Rector and the entire Dharmara family. Thank you, Father. 